Welcome back to the Coaches Club. Today I'm joined by disc golf head coach Steve Bowman. How you doing, Steve? It's another year. It's going great. Going great. Like you said, you guys are getting back started. Yeah. Off season is finally over. But before we get to you know talking about the season and the tournaments coming up, what's the off season preparation? How has that been? for you guys it's been really good this year i've been referring to my young guys but they're now juniors um they're traveling across the country playing tournaments they're um, in large settings just getting better and better uh testing themselves you know improving on their game um so when the off season hits you know really for them it's a time to get out and expand who they are as players individually to come back and be ready to go. So uh, countless guys were out competing in tournaments, you know, continuing the conversations through some of our, you know, team chat stuff that they were constantly talking, hey, I'm going here, you guys want to come? And I've had guys coming down from New York for Carolina tournaments and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, when that's happening, you're driving 600 miles, mm -hmm. you guys are committed, they're ready to go for the season. So they're excited, uh, second practice tonight, but we're really excited to, you know, get back together and start, you know, really gelling as a team and bring the new, these new guys into, mm -hmm. you know, what it is that we have. And we really enjoy this environment. And having some of those new guys, even though you say, they, like you say, you say they are new guys, but they're, they come in experience. Yeah. Is that a confidence boost for you as a coach, just well, going into the season? It does help, you know, because we don't have, you know, the senior class that we've had. Mm -hmm. We don't have the young class that you're feeding into. But, yeah, to have guys that, that have the experience and the, the level of the understanding that mm -hmm. we have at this year coming in, then it makes a difference as how you coach. Mm -hmm. So you're not just teaching the basics of it. Now you're starting to work on the IQ. You're starting to work on the head game because – Disc golf is truly a mental game. If anybody's played ball golf, you get frustrated because it doesn't go where you want to. Mm -hmm. Disc golf's the same way. So, you know, you kind of feed into the guys that way because they have the skill sets. You hone in on some of those mm -hmm. and you work from there. So, yeah, it's a lot nicer. Goals going into this year. Have you already made them or is it too soon to, to start um, setting goals? Well, I know some of the guys have already. One of my uh, returning guys that was a second team All American last year, you know, his goal is he wants to win it all for the singles level. Nice. Um, so, I mean, that's a huge goal. I mean, he wasn't far out of it. I think he finished in 14th, 15th place. Mm -hmm. Um, very attainable um, and he knows he's been out there so he knows what he wants to do mm -hmm. and if he's coming in with that I want to give him everything he can to, to make that goal but I think he's got a lot of guys around him that are going to push him um, and really make that level uh, stand out and really have something for them to go wow if he's going to be there I could possibly be there too. Mm -hmm. The, the national flamethrower is coming up soon. So yeah. what are you expecting out of your team? Of course that's a home match. So yeah. That's one of the perks of having it here. Of course you know it is. Home, home cooking for you guys. Yeah, and it's one of the only ones that we really have at home. We have these great facilities here, and it's just hard because, you know, Virginia Tech finally brought a team on board. You know, they had one when we first started, and then they, you know, graduated or whatever. But we were the only team in Virginia for the longest time. Mm -hmm. So we had to travel everywhere, mm -hmm. you know, which is fine. We've got great, you know, vehicles and, and nice atmosphere to do that. But it's nice to have something big here. The guys are excited. They love the courses. We play them all the time. And the people that come and play them love them. So that makes for a great event, plus having the club sports teams help out with the programs and everything. That's huge here. They see, you know, what we are and who we are. They want to go back and make their school just as good. So it's kind of nice. You talk about facilities a little bit. You guys practice every Monday. You guys practice in the indoor right football facility. Yeah. So just – Speaking of that, how was the, you know, just the disc golf program grew since you've become the head coach here? Yeah, I think, you know, having a, a, a this is an amazing facility, you know, to be able to, to carry this through all winter long when we know we get weather, ice, snow, you know, yeah, we got to be out in those environments. But, man, when you can be in here and just hone in on, you know, it's hot today. You know, we had a huge yeah. rainstorm. It's hot. It's nice in here, you know, <laughs> so it's nice to have this facility. That's the biggest thing. We give the guys the tools, and that's what I love about these guys. I'm not only giving them tools for disc golf. I'm giving them tools for life. Right. I'm giving them tools for their story of who God is in their life mm -hmm. because they're going to meet guys on the course that are far from him. Right. So to have that tool as well as a disc golf tool, that's what it's about. So, I mean, Liberty fulfills all those things that these kids are craving for. So I think that's what the draw for kids that you hear, well, I wasn't really planning on going to Liberty, but maybe I came to see far, maybe I saw this, or I come and hung out at practice, and they were hooked. Mm -hmm. You know, we had two or three guys that I've been emailing since they were sophomores in high school. Wow. You know, so that's time vested in that yeah. that's where, as a program grows, that's when it's exciting to mm -hmm. see that happen. I feel like every time we talk, we always talk about the spiritual aspect, and, I, and that seems to be like your main component of yeah. coaching. So how big is it, you know, witnessing to those other players that, oh, that you guys play? That's huge. I mean, that's, we start off the year, and I gave the guys all a towel this year. And mm -hmm. a towel is a simple thing. It doesn't have anything to do with disc golf. Yep. But it's an important role mm -hmm. in how we play. And so I had that to a, a spiritual application, like this towel is nothing, but without this towel, you might not be able to throw. Yeah. You know, some guys don't have it, you know, whatever it is. And so it was neat to kind of turn that to it. And, and yeah, we spend two hours with guys that they're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. We're captive audience. So I feel like if I'm not teaching these guys how to 
share their story and the journey that God has them on that I'm failing as a coach and I, you know, somebody else should be here doing it. So for me, that's my main focus. I'm going to teach them disc golf. They're going to surpass me in the levels of that. But as long as I'm being faithful, I'm a dad. Mm -hmm. So that's my role as a dad. I feel like I'm, you know, shepherding these guys all the way through. And that's important. You know, if I, I, I lose sight of that, then I shouldn't be coaching. Nice. Well, good luck this year, Coach. We'll be wishing you the best. Yep. That's our coach, Steve Bowman.